Hi everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast for the week between the 1st and the 7th of July 2018. So basically the mood, the celestial mood goes on, we're going into an eclipse season, we'll be experiencing eclipse from next week, eclipses from next week, and the agitation is still there, the martial energy is still there there's an urgency in the sky, there's an urgency to act that can make us feel on a personal level that we need to move forward, that if we don't, nothing would ever change. And that feeling of necessity, that feeling of urgency, both on a collective and a personal level, just to show you, I'm going to tilt the camera, I have a, I have a Georgia messing, with, this, is, this is my reflective light, so, so I won't have uh, one side that is bl totally dark and one is lit in. So this reflects light from the window back at me. And Georgia is messing with it. So we have a tail. Anyway, so the agitation is still there and the, the feeling of necessity is still there. And both on a collective and personal level, this can cause us to walk forward, to take steps forward before we've actually matured into them, before they actually ripened, causing us to take a step forward and a step back, making us get frustrated with things. So first of all, we have to take frustration into account this summer. And we have to understand that this is the kind of waltz that we'll be dancing. And that if we'll take down the feeling of immediacy, the feeling of necessity, and the feeling of the, the anxiety a little bit, then that can really help us move forward in a much more sustainable pace. Um, let's go down to the weekdays and talk about them. Sunday the 1st, Juno is ingressing into Taurus. Juno Moneta is Hera, the goddess of family, loyalty, the wife of Zeus, the queen of the goddesses. And she ingresses into the sign of Taurus, talking about the land, talking about the environment, talking about earth, talking about nature, talking about beauty and aesthetics, talking about our relationship with the material and sensual worlds. And Juno understands that when she ingresses into, into wow, you're really leaving a lot of hair behind, Georgia. When she ingresses into Taurus, she understands that we're really married to this earth. We're really married to nature. The relationship or the, 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 the primary relationship enabling us to survive here is with this earth, not with one another not with one another. So there's a, there's a beautiful coming back, if you want, both on a personal and a collective level, to the basics, to what we need to sustain ourselves here. And on a s not such evolved level, we could take it down to money and material goods, and we can become very loyal and attached to those things. But on a higher level, the natural world and the physical plane take over. And she ingresses into Taurus, trining Ceres, Demeter, the goddess of uh, plenty and of uh, wheat and of the fruits of nature, that ingresses into Virgo right now. Also, uh, earth sign talking about service and healing and correction of things taking things under control so these two ladies can really help us on both levels turn back to things that are much more practical sustainable and realistic in our lives if we're taking it to the more spiritual level then there's something very hygienic, sane, 
and, and that, that looks on the longer run, on the strategic effect of things, that understand the, causa the causality of the things we do and how they affect us down the road. Basically a very good uh, transit. Other than that, Sunday can be a little heated as the moon is going to conjunct uh, Mars. In Central Europe it's going to happen just at about 2 a.m. But if you are in the Pacific, then it would be in your morning time. And if you are in the States, it would be on Saturday night. So watch that. There's also a square to Jupiter not long after that, making us behave a little too extreme, making us apt to uh, overindulge ourselves or be extravagant or indiscreet. So just watch it. Monday, I have nothing to say about Monday. Regarding Tuesday, beautiful day, a day to enjoy yourself. If you are in Europe, the nighttime and evening time are amazing with a trine between the moon and the sun and a trine to Jupiter. It's a great time to go outside. It's a great time to expand your horizons. It's a great time to be with other people. It's a time for joy and happiness and to take life as an adventure. And of course, if you're in the States with the morning of Tuesday, if you're in the Pacific, it would be uh, the morning of Wednesday. And Wednesday morning... And Wednesday in general is not a day that is good for your left brain, for analytic uh, chores. It's more about art. It's more about spirit. It's more about nature. It's more about creativity and passivity, as the moon is going to conjunct Neptune. Um, later on, afternoon, Central European time, there's a sextile to Pluto, things get back into paste and we step out of our bubble. Wednesday, ah, that was Wednesday, the 4th. Now, Thursday and Friday are more sensitive. Wednesday is as well from the noontime onwards. Um, Thursday, we have Chiron turning retrograde, making this a more sensitive day, a day that Chiron is felt much more strongly in our lives. Not only does he turn retrograde, retrograde, the moon conjuncts Chiron on that day, fueling that movement in the sky and connecting it to us subjectively. But um, there's also two things that are happening in the sky that um, make this day even more agitating. One, Mercury is going to oppose Mars. Mercury, the god of communication and the way we behave around people and interact with people, is going to oppose Mars, the god of war that is in retrograde, in Aquarius, that Mercury is in Leo. But this is an, a transit that we'll be feeling from the beginning of the week, but it heightens on Thursday. And this could be about honor amongst friends. We could either insult friends or friends can insult us or there could be some honor regarding discourse or pride. And we really have to watch it. Have to watch it and not be so direct and see how we communicate and interact with people. We could be too optimistic or sure of ourselves because the other aspect is a very positive aspect. It's a trying between the Sun and Jupiter. It's a time that we want to put our legs up and have that little margarita by the pool or go on a trip or study something fascinating and open our minds up but take life as an adventure and that can make us a little too indulgent. We could want to get our way too much so watch for that on Thursday and Friday Friday is a very energetic day, also Thursday night. There's a sextile to Mars. There's a trine between the Moon and Mercury. Um, we could be moving around, and certainly on Friday morning. But later on, nighttime, there is a square to Pluto. Beware of drama. Be aware of going into uh, being too total or being too... 
um, symbiotic or being too dramatic or dogmatic and just save some space for rationale and clear thinking and logic and stepping away a bit from your emotions and seeing things from the side or from above. Um, and Saturday, beautiful day, moon in Taurus, trining Venus in the morning time. Exciting day with the moon later on that night, conjuncting Uranus, enabling us to go out of the ordinary and do new things. But also a day that could imply a lot of sudden changes. Anyway, that's what I had to say. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for commenting, liking, sharing. That exposes the videos to more people. And of course, for private consultations or lessons, I'm always here. So, on behalf of Georgia and myself, I hope you had a wonderful flight and that we'll be seeing you again here on the Trans-Celestial Highway.